Well, good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining uh, this webinar this evening. And great to see you or have you on on the call. Um, it's great to be back this year again. Uh, thank you for the invitation to be talking to you for the next four weeks. We did four seminars last year, and I hope they helped and there was some information in there that maybe just made you think a little bit differently or made you just stop and think, oh, yeah, I could do that or whichever way. Um, and we're going to do the same thing over the next few weeks as well. Um, so great to be here and share some information. Please share the stuff. Please share information with friends, family. You know, there'll be some stuff for everybody probably over, over the next four weeks. But we're going to start the first session um, talking about resilience. And resilience is a big topic, so we're not we're not going to be able to delve into it in full. But I do want to share some things with you around resilience. Um, and a lot of people, a lot of people call resilience mental toughness. Well, that's not quite what we're talking about here, you know. But very often, mental toughness is spoken about with people who join the SAS and they're going to be mentally tough and you know and all that. And that's a different type of thing. But resilience is really about how we how we manage and how we deal with things in a day-to-day -day life when sometimes things go wrong, sometimes we have a problem, sometimes there's a lot on and we feel a bit stressed and resilience really matters because that helps us to deal with those things. It helps us to deal when we've got a lot of homework, it helps us to deal with um, things when there's exam time for example and being resilient just means that we can understand how our well-being, understand how we deal with things and maybe draw on a few things that can help us to deal with things a little bit better. So that's what I want to look at tonight and and talk about sort of five points really. Um, and we, we, we just started off there didn't we talking about what is what is resilience and it, resilience if you think of it like this is when it, when a little baby um, starts to walk um, and most of you, all of you will see a little baby walking at some point. Sometimes they'll start to walk and they'll fall over and they'll get up, they'll try again, they'll fall over, they'll get up, they'll try again and that's resilience because what that little baby is doing is it's falling over, he's learning, he's putting into practice what he's learned so he thinks like, okay I'll try that differently and he's, and he's building resilience to allow him to walk and Babies and children are very good at being resilient because they because they take what they learn and they most of the time over time they don't do it again. They learn, they learn, they learn, they build resilience and they move on. As as we grow older and as we grow up and become um, older children, young people, adults and all that type of stuff, we tend to forget that learning is really important and learning is part of becoming resilient. Making mistakes is part of becoming resilient. I, for example, I cooked something last week. I like cooking, and I I, I cooked a curry last week from scratch with all the spices. Uh, but me being me, I didn't put the labels of the some of the spice pots, and I put the wrong spices in. So the curry didn't taste right. In fact, it tasted awful. Um, so my learn is to read the parts. Put the pots out so I can read, so I can see, and that's building resilience. If I did the same thing again, that wouldn't be resilient, would it? Because I'm just making the same mistake. I need to learn from what I've done. So I'm going to share four things with you around resilience tonight. So I'm not going to keep you too late, so don't worry. Um, I, I know it's late, and you had a long day in school, and there's lots of stuff you probably still got to do. And the first is this. To be resilient, we have to be well. If you've had a really bad cold or something like tonsillitis or a chest infection or something like that, where you feel really quite unwell, um, you don't feel resilient, do you? Yeah, you know, you just feel fed up and feel, oh, I don't, I, you know, everything's wrong and everything feels a bit resilient. You just want to. So being well is goes hand in hand with being resilient because when we feel well, we feel strong. When we feel well, we feel confident. When we feel well, we feel resilient. So I want you to think tonight, or whenever you're listening to this call, how well do you feel right now? A score out of 10, one being the worst, 10 being the best, 
how well do you really feel right now? So I've, I've, I've had a really busy day. <coughs> I've been in front of my screen quite a lot today. This is my last call. Um, it's what time is it? It's 10 past six, it's nearly 10 past six. Um, I feel tired. Yeah, I feel tired. I'm hungry. Um, not hungry, I'm hungry. I'm a bit kind of thirsty, so I'm just going to take a drink. Um, and I'm ready to finish work. And I need to rest tonight because I'm tired and I've been on my screen, so I'm not having phone time tonight. My phone will be going to one side because I've been on screens a lot today. I got a little bit of a headache. Um, so I'm probably at number five or six tonight out of ten. And I know what I need to do tonight to feel well. Rest, have some food, have, have, have some water, squash, whatever later, and just chill a bit tonight because I've had a long day. And understanding how you feel each day and what you need to do is really important. So think about tonight, what do you need to do? It might be the fact you need to go for a walk, it might be the fact you need to have a bath, you to read a book, phone a friend, whatever. But understand what you need to do to feel well each day. And the other way to think about this is, is traffic lights. So red, amber, green. A green day is a great day. Green day is probably a Saturday or Sunday, but a green day is a day where everything's gone okay, you feel you've got lots of energy, you've had a great day in school maybe, you've done things that you really like, excuse me, um, and it's gone really well and you, feel, and you feel really resilient. Yeah, you could do some more stuff, you, there's lots of energy and, uh, and things are good. An amber day is 50-50 really, it's been okay in times, not to, you've had some lessons you didn't enjoy maybe, um, the re maybe the weather's been not so great, so you couldn't go out, and maybe it's been raining and all those type of things, you feel a bit tired, it's midweek and yeah, all those things. So it's a 50-50 day. So there's something that you need to do on an amber day to look after your well-being a bit better. Um, you know, there's, there's just something maybe you need to take some rest, maybe you need to do some different things, whatever. A red day is a bad day, and we all get bad days. We all get days where we feel fed up. We all get days where we feel a little bit, oh, I can't be bothered today, or I'm doing such a day, it's really not nice, or there's an, it's an exam day, or whatever, and, you, and you're and feeling anxious. A red day, yeah, and we don't feel resilient. And it's really important in those days, the amber and red days, that you have a bit of a plan in place, that you that you have a bit of a plan, that you can look after yourselves, that that, that little bit better. So for me today, it's probably um, my day today is probably amber. So I need to put things in place tonight that makes me feel good, makes me laugh, maybe makes me smile, makes me rest, so that I go to bed tonight and I close the day off feeling really well. So then I build my resilience because I feel well tomorrow morning, I feel refreshed and I'm resilient and I start again. So just consider how you feel. Understand your well-being each day. Listen to your mind and body what is telling you. Because very often we ignore the signs. We ignore what our mind and body are telling us. Yeah. If you're feeling tired tonight and you decide to ignore that and you just stay on your phones till midnight, one o'clock, and oh, you're pushing that and pushing that, that's not resilience. That's doing damage to your mental health or, or your well-being because your body's telling you actually I need sleep, but you're not letting me sleep. OK, so think about how you feel. The better you look after yourselves, the more you listen to your mind and body, the more resilient that you become. Like the children again, when children are tired, young children, two, babies, two, three year olds, when they're tired, they're tired, they fall asleep. But we don't listen and we force ourselves to do stuff. The second point is building strong foundations. And this is why I talk to a lot of clients about and talk to a lot of adults about it as well. Um, and building strong foundations is really important because if you think if you think of a house, um, the foundations of a house have to be really strong, haven't they? Because you build a house on top of it and, all, and everything else that goes there. If you build a house, say, on uh, sand or very muddy, um, in a muddy field that gets flooded, the house is going to fall down. 
because the foundations are not strong. And it's the same for our mental health, it's the same for us. We need to ensure that we have things in place to build strong foundations. So when we deal with things, when the things come um, like school, exams, home, life, friends, all the stuff that you do every day sits on top of those foundations. So the stronger the foundations are, the more you can deal with, the more resilient you are, the better you can deal with, the more, the more pressure can be put on there because you're feeling well and you're looking after those foundations. And I just want to share a few things with you about some things about looking after your foundation, simple things that make us feel better and stronger, okay? The first one is keep hydrated, drinking water. Um, we don't drink enough normally, okay? Um, so it's really important to keep hydrated. If you're feeling sluggish, you've got a bit of a headache or whatever, make sure you're keeping, keeping hydrated during the day. You're, you're in lessons, um, you're running around the place, make sure you're replacing water. It's very important. Your brain is 70% water, so it needs water to function. It needs water to function well and, and work for you. The second thing is take regular breaks. So if you're doing homework tonight, for example, you've got a couple of hours homework to do, don't just work through two hours because all you're doing is you're draining your battery, you're draining your energy, um, you're not being resilient, so take some regular breaks during the course of that two hours. Maybe work for 15, 20 minutes, take a five minute break, whatever works for you, but take a little break back to the work. You'll feel fresh, you look a little bit differently, and it won't feel so long and onerous because the brain doesn't like working really long hours. Okay, it needs breaks, it needs um, to stop. Hence, these calls, when I do them, are a bit shorter because. I know you'll switch off. I know if it's too long, your brain will just go, oh, I can't watch anymore. If you're watching a film in a cinema, you know, um, or a TV program, they've got adverts, yeah? That's, so, so you have a break, go off and get a drink, come back and, and start again, right? Okay. Third one, have lunch. Eat or dinner, supper as well, but, have, but certainly eat well, yeah? Make sure that you're eating nutritionally well. Vegetables, all the, all the things, fruit and all the things you know that's good for us. Because those vitamins really help us be resilient. Those vitamins really help us keep well. You can hear that I got a cold, yeah? So I feel a bit, ugh, I feel a bit groggy. I don't particularly feel hugely resilient tonight because I feel, oh, I feel a bit tired, I feel I've got a cold. So make sure that you, you're having the vitamins. Make sure that you eat well. When we eat things that aren't particularly good for us, we feel a bit, oh, don't we? You feel sluggish, feel full, feel a bit greasy, whatever, right? So make sure that you eat well. Fourthly, set your boundaries. And that means sometimes, you know, saying no to things or or maybe we can't do everything or we can't go out to everything and, and do everything. Sometimes we're going to say no because sometimes our body says that to us. And it's really difficult to say no because we all want to do stuff, but sometimes we just got to understand thinking, well, yeah, actually, do you know what? Tonight I'm really tired and I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to, be able to do that tonight or that's going to have to wait till tomorrow or whichever way. Set your boundaries. Yeah. Have your boundaries in place and think, I'm done today now. So make sure your boundaries are, are really important. And an important one for resilience, connecting with others, talking to other people. Um, if I've got a problem, if I'm worried about something or I can't do something or there's something in work that I'm worried about or I'm not very good in PowerPoint, for example, and all that type of stuff, um, I ask for help. I speak to somebody, I ask for help, or I speak to a friend, family member, and say, look, I'm struggling with this, how do I do this? And by doing that, I, I don't stress. I'm not anxious, I'm not worrying about it. So by connecting to others, and talking about a problem, then I become more resilient. I get stronger because uh, I can deal with things better. So if you want to put a piece of homework tonight, if you're stuck on a question, pick the phone up, ask a friend, get some help. Yeah, because that's how, we, how, that's how we become resilient. If you don't do that, we build up stress and anxiety and worry, and that's not good for us. 
prioritize your daily tasks. Prioritize stuff that's important. Yeah, so if you've got stuff to do tonight, what's the most important thing you've got to do tonight and get that done? Very often on very often on our to-do lists, we put the stuff that's not nice to do at the bottom because we don't want to do it. And very often we do the nice things first because they're nice stuff, but it's the things at the bottom of the list that causes us the worry. So try and do the not nice things first, get them out the way, get the piece of homework that you think, oh, I don't want to do that, get that out the way, and you'll feel really great. And you'll build resilience, you'll build and learn things, well, oh, that felt really great. And when it does feel great, celebrate. You know, I did really well, I've done that piece of work that I've been putting off for a couple of days now, but it's done, brilliant, and celebrate. And when we celebrate, we smile. When we smile, we build resilience we, um, and we build confidence. Celebrate your achievements. OK. Keep active. And walk away from your screen a bit. I've been on the screen too much today and I've lot, have lots of emails, lots of calls to do, lots of video calls. So I'm going to, once this is done, I'm walking away and I'm taking a break from the screen and we'll be looking at the screen again tonight. Really important. And if you do you spend a lot of time on your phone, on social media, as we do, please make sure that you make sure that you are the boss of the phone. You're the boss, not the phone. You put it down and don't be dragged into being on it too much. You manage it. You take control of it and walk away from it now and again because using it too much, we know the damage that does to our mental health, we become less resilient, and it certainly has an effect on our well-being and the way we feel. So just a few things there that I talked about building those foundations, those simple things like taking breaks, drinking water, yeah, phoning a friend, makes us stronger, makes us foundations, makes our mental health really strong, because combined together it builds good foundations and when things come on top of the foundations we become resilient we can deal with the homework and we can deal with school we can deal with all the stuff that that we have to do yeah um sit on top of that so the stronger those foundations the better the fourth part is going back to what i talk about really with with, with when i spoke of the baby walking it's learning from the past is learning from mistakes um, and very often when we worry about something or feel anxious, we've already done that thing before, maybe, but we've forgotten. So always remember, have I done this before? Have I worried about this before? What did I do last time? Learn from the past, learn from mistakes, learn from when you've done it previously. Um, as we learn to drive, for example, is a good one, isn't it? You know, we, we will make mistakes. We learn, we move on, we don't make the mistake again. We learn, we want to make the mistake again. Learning from the past. Um, and learning from past mistakes and past things that, that we've done, which allows us not to worry about them again. Um, if, I, if I'm driving something, well, I've been the same before, so I've, I have done it, I just can't remember, so it's okay, because I've done it before, yeah? And I'm going to become more resilient on that journey. And I'm going to finish on this one. And this is why I do, I do this every day. Um, and I try and do one thing every day that's good for my well-being. However small that is, or silly it sounds to some people, it doesn't matter because it's my well-being. I do one thing that's good for my well-being every day, something that makes me feel good, something that makes me smile or laugh, or something that makes me feel relaxed, it doesn't matter, but as, as long as it makes you feel good in some way, so that we end the day feeling good. Sometimes um, I'll watch a a comedy that I like and makes me laugh. Sometimes I'll cook a meal and I really enjoy cooking. Sometimes um, I have a long shower. Um, it doesn't matter what it is, it doesn't matter how simple it sounds, but it's something that you like. It's something that you enjoy doing that makes a difference to you. And by doing that, you feel good. By doing that, you build your score. Remember the score from one to ten? By doing that, you move the score up. And by moving the score up, you become more resilient because, you be, because you're looking after your well-being. So all this is connected. Good well-being, good, and when we look after mental health really well, we become more resilient because we can deal with things better. When we ignore things, when we don't deal with things, when we don't look after ourselves, we become less resilient because we haven't got the energy, we haven't got the confidence, we, have, we, we haven't got that thing that keeps us well. So really importantly, 
especially when you're busy, especially when it comes to busy times in school. And I know it's half term this week, so hopefully you're taking a lot of time out. But make sure that you're looking after your well-being because that is the bedrock. That's the foundations of being resilient. And we said at the start, you know, being resilient really means dealing with things when things go wrong, when problems or when we got locked on, when we're busy and we need that resilience to do stuff. If you want to be like that, then it's looking after your mental health and well-being. And hopefully the things that we've shared tonight give you some clues of how to do that. Um, and how to be good at looking after your well-being. So tonight you have a choice. How do you feel right now? How do you feel tonight? And what does your mind and body tell you that you need? Just listen to it and say, yeah, I need a rest or I can go for a walk or I can do so and so and so and so and so, and so whatever it is. But do one thing that makes you feel really good tonight. Do one thing that makes you smile, laugh, feel good, feel relaxed, whatever it is, but makes you but makes your well-being really positive. So thank you for listening. I wish you a good night. Um, thank you for tuning in. And um, I look forward to speaking to you over the next couple of weeks as well. So have a good week on half term. Uh, relax and enjoy as well. But um, it's been great talking to you. So thank you. Good night. <laughs>